Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to another Kid Fox stream. Um, you can't see it, but I am here right now with a very special guest who unfortunately had some internet problems. So now we only have voice call. That's OK. Do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. So my name is Andrea, and hopefully the sound is good. We basically lost the internet like five minutes before the stream. So it's kind of like a uh, uh, kind of this uh, situation. <laughs> so Murphy's law to me. Oh, oh no, we're losing, we're losing audio. No. <laughs> losing. We're losing him. Unless you guys can hear him. Oh, oh, this sounds good. Oh. Oh no. Internet dying. <laughs> We're losing you. Oh. No. Oh wait, you're back. All right. So hopefully it's gonna it's gonna go uh, better than that. Uh, but uh, basically, I'm the owner of Alice and Smith, and we're developing alternate reality game. And today we share a Nero uh, with you guys. So hopefully you're gonna have fun playing a Nero. Yes, I am super excited. If you guys don't know, it is an ARG. Um, I lost power before, so I know the struggle with internet dying. Yeah, due to your hustler. It's always, it's always bad, bad times with the internet sometimes. Uh, yeah, so I guess before we get started with Nero, do you want to tell us a little bit about the actual game and like the kind of story behind it? Hello, Stealthy Moon. Sure. So, uh, basically, you know, when we created the Black Watchman, uh, we created a universe in which you were a spy and you had to investigate uh, occult event and um, you know search the internet, uh, hack uh, fake website we have created, investigate NPC we created on um, uh, LinkedIn and whatnot. Um, by the way, we're still Timu. ARG stands for alternate reality game, which doesn't mean augmented reality game. So alternate reality game is a game that you play on your computer, but we create. Um, we create clues that are outside the game. So, for example, I will say in the game, you have to investigate that company. If you go online, we have created their website. Uh, if you call them, they answer. We created voicemail for them. If you email them, they send you email back. You know, so we we make the we make the game much bigger. Basically, the universe is transmedia and can be explored. Basically, and and. In the game, and so we can continue. Whoa! Yeah. Cutting, cutting out again. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. All that internet. But yes, chat. It does sound very interesting, and I'm very excited. And I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit spooked already. I don't know why, but we're gonna get started, and hopefully Andrea comes back. One chat. Just keep talking, Andrea, and then we'll see if we can hear you. All right, we're gonna start a new game. Yes. No worries. Don't even worry about it. Okay, so this is our first puzzle. Um. Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't. I'm worried. <laughs> Jump in the game and try to turn back. Will do. All right, guys. So we're gonna have to try and do this. Let me know if audio from the game is too quiet, if I'm too quiet, anything like that. Um, this is. I don't know if any of you have played an ARG before, but they're kind of kind of scary just because I think it's just so cool how you can extend the universe to our actual world. Game audio is low. Um, I will try to fix that in a second. Or is it? Oh. I, I, it, is game audio low? Don't play me like this stealthy move. The game voice is low. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, whoop, there we go. Music is loud. Okay, so we'll up narration. We'll put down music. Let me know if that works. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I wasn't paying attention to the beginning of this. Let's let's start. Each this. fragment is a glimpse at something larger. 
A puzzle that must be understood. So technically, you know, yeah, I will, I will let the narration go on and I will intervene. Oh, wait. No, music is too low. Let me just solve that. Oh, nope. Okay, I'll do this later. No! <laughs> it's hard to get it perfect. Uh, we'll start with this first. Oh, no. You must literally draw a conclusion. Conclusion. This divine geometry, a sigil in essence, will bring you closer to finding me. I was standing <laughs> Sorry, Stealthy Moon. I'll try to make you proud with my volume settings. Is that better? Please tell me that's better. <laughs> You must believe or she will die. I tried to clap, and I did, but the animals were not. I saw she was doomed. Right. I don't want to talk about... I don't want to talk over this person's voice. I just did, as I said that. Uh, it is all the way up on OBS, so I don't know how else we're gonna... I mean, we have to do it via game because in OBS it's just... Oh, I lost Andrea. I lost the game dev, you guys. I am so sorry. It's all my fault. <laughs> um, anyways. Hopefully, hopefully it's fine. Um, we're just gonna start playing because I think this is super interesting. Um, but basically, I know this game is based on you're living in a dream, or not living in a dream, but these are your dreams being haunted. And I haven't been paying attention to the game because I've been trying to fix audio. So... Skype is very short, it auto quiets things. There we go. Well... Oh, okay. Well... We can try to still Skype call. I think it'd be interesting for everyone. I can... I do not know what I'm doing right now. Oh shoot, I have not been... Oh, oh no. That's what I get for not paying attention to the game as it was playing and explaining things. Okay, let's see. Piece together the meaning of the object and the associated dream fragment. I was standing in a small house in the woods, surrounded by a myriad of animals of every kind. A nest lying in the center held a little girl, myself, pale and asleep. The animals cried as I stood over her, and a little white bird flew through the window. It said, you must clap, you must believe or she will die. I tried to clap, and I did, but the animals could not. I saw she was doomed, and I clapped along as she died. No one could help her. And the question is, I think Andrea's trying to get everything together, but, I think it is fully voice acted. Um, so, apparently everything is going to... How many fragments? I am so lost. If chat wants to help me, please do. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Um, one thing I am interested in is actually, like, all the challenges. I guess, Andrea, if you want to write in chat or if you want to hop onto another Skype call. Um, what were the challenges of creating like an ARG? Because you did have to create all those like company, um, all those company websites, the voicemail. That must have taken a long time, or it doesn't. I actually don't know how long it takes. <laughs> um, click on this single the bottom icon. What? Oh god. <laughs> Hello, Zaylong. Ormond Street? Oh. Hello, welcome back. Yeah, do you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry for that guy. Really sorry. Hopefully we're gonna get it. But yeah, you, um, me? you yes. have uh, you have two mode. Uh, so basically, when you get into a riddle, mm -hmm. you have this uh, you have this interface where you have the riddle and the clues, which is the picture and the text. And if you click on the sigil, you move to your input area. And you actually have to draw your answer in the sigil uh, to complete 
you know, the question. So basically that riddle gives you, you know, a mission that you have to investigate online. Oh. And when you get the answer, you will know exactly the word that you need to draw okay. uh, in the bottom. So just click, yeah, click in the bottom, exactly. So you just switch between one of the two modes. And here's basically is that the people in the channel can figure out with the clues, the picture and the riddle, how to solve, you know, how, how this will lead you to the actual answer. Okay, that was a bad Google search that I just did. <laughs> but okay, this is, okay, she was first to host to the first children's hospital. This host to the first children's Okay, yeah. so the first children's hospital in London Street. So hopefully, obviously the first clues are uh, pretty easy, but mm -hmm. the more it will go, the more your investigation we have to go deep. And at oh. that point, you will have to, uh, yeah, at that point, you will have to uh, look at fake website, NPC we have created, so you will blend between the real world and the fiction that we have created. I see, okay. Or uh, Stealthy Moo, when you first wrote Ormond Street, I had no idea why you were saying that, so I just ignored <laughs> it, and now I see you are so smart. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, oh, wait, how do I draw? Or, or, mon, where's N? Oh, no. <gasps> Almost there. Wait, did I spell it wrong? Ormond, no? Oh, there we go, okay. Uh, N, D, oh, N, D, where's N, D? Oh, here it is. Ah, wow, that's cool. <laughs> So the idea of sigil is coming from the Rusi Christian, actually, where they mm. use this kind of secret password to a sigil system, and you have to actually draw your answer, and the, and the symbol itself will be your passkey to enter some of the secret meeting, basically. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, um, I guess going back to a question I had was, what were like the main challenges you faced when making the ARG? Um, so in the, in the case of uh, Aniro, it's, uh, it's different from the Black Watchman. The Black Watchman, the challenge is really to make a game that will be accessible to different level of players, um, because you have obviously people who are really good at research puzzle cipher, mm -hmm. and you have a much diversity of type of puzzle. In the case of Aniro, we wanted to have something much more narrative and much more immersive than the Black Watchman in game specifically. Um, so uh, that, that part was the, the big challenge, to create a puzzle that was interesting enough, but not too complex to a point where you're getting lost, you know, completely in the puzzle itself. And the interface is pretty, you know, minimalistic. You know, you have basically just those pictures and the riddle and good luck, you know. <laughs> that's, your, <Yeah. laughs> that's your mission, you know, from that point, you know. By the way, chat, if any of you ever have questions, feel free to throw them in. I'll answer them. Um, cool, got it. Yeah. So that was, that was just the training or tutorial game uh, mm -hmm. table, if you want. Uh, normally, you know, and probably the voice is playing at the same time I'm talking. Yeah, I'm but... going to just turn down the voice volume just so you can talk. Yeah, so normally uh, the, game, the game itself can be played only at night. So if you activate the only playable at night, actually, you can only play the game between six o'clock uh, at night to six in the morning. And uh, if you uh, use the hint, because you have a little hint, uh, you have for every night you have five hints. And after that, you have to wait for the next day for the hint to come back, you know. So it's uh, that's it. So basically, what you have is um, uh, this journey into the dream of our protagonist, and she's stuck and hunted with this different vision in her dream, and you have to help her make sense of these different vision, and that will be the journey you will explore in any room. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um... Oh. Can I not click the, the copyright, Kensington? No? Uh, so basically, these are your two clues. So you have the Serpentine and you have the Great Armored Hospital. And you need to figure out what's link 
a degree of harmonious pedal, and the hint you have is copyright. And what link, the serpentine, and the link you have is Kingston Garden. And there's something that link these, these locations both in place and time together. There's an actual physical and real link between the serpentine Kingston Garden and the Ormond Hospital copyright. And at first it may sound like you know, there's no link, but if you mm -hmm. start Googling and searching, you will find an actual link. Um, and this is part of the of the game. So it's huge research and you wow. know search solving puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if chat wants to help me out with searching, feel free. Um, we have a question from Stealthy Move. Is time depending on computer clock time or IP location time? Computer clock. So you can indeed cheat it with <laughs> your changing your time on your computer because honestly it's it's a feature you can also deactivate in the sitting we just wanted to make that more fun if you want to but it's not we don't force you to play at night we just highly suggest that you do mm. serpentine lake that's not i don't know serpentine gallery Oh gosh, you're gonna have to help me on chat. <laughs> um, talking while doing puzzles at the same time, very difficult. It's a challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. what I suggest is let let's start with this. So if you if you go back to your screen, live live, uh, just uh, let the, the the puzzle on the screen, mm -hmm. and let's do a first giveaway. I mean, the first person who mm. who didn't play the any rule. All right, before it's important, but the first person who will actually figure out that answer uh, will get uh, a first copy of any rule. Uh, in the meantime, we can just you know talk and challenge our 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 people in the stream. So basically, I repeat, your clues right now is we have Great Ormond Street Hospital, and you have the Serpentine. All right, uh, the Serpentine is in London. Um, it's in Hyde Park. Uh, and uh, in Hyde Park, you have Kings, uh, Ken Kensington Garden, um, which which I was last week and taking picture, which was really great. Um, and you have Great Ormond Hospital copyright. So if you do start digging into the history of the Great Ormond Hospital, and you start digging or making some research on the serpentine related to Kingston Garden, you will find a connection. You will find a connection in time and in location that had something that goes with those two locations together. Interesting. Yeah, so whoever in chat finds out first, I'll, I'll make sure you guys get a Steam key for this very game. Um, how have you found that like streamers, have you seen like a lot of streamers play this game? Uh, yeah, we have a couple of, of streamers who started to stream the game like that. It's uh, the fun part is really when you have uh, people, you know, uh, searching as a as a group, you know, because some someone will be like, oh, I found that about the Great Omar Hospital, or, oh, I found that about Superintendent, and that collective, oh wow, well, Stealthy Moon kind of nailed it. Really? Yes, it did. Oh, okay. Nice job, Stealthy Moon. <laughs> So yeah, I'll make sure Peter, so ju just before you enter the answer, I don't know if you already did, but uh, just before you enter the answer, maybe it's Telty Moon. You want to explain how you got to Peter Pan, so everyone can basically understand that part of the solution. So yeah, some streamer will actually stream it with a group of people. Uh, it's a game that is fun to play as a group because everyone is searching, everyone is trying to make this this connection and crack the puzzle to collaboration, basically. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know if... Uh... Peter Pan copyright. I didn't know that. Yeah, exactly. So basically, the, the, the little story here is that um, the uh, when GM Barry died, he gave the copyright of Peter Pan to the hospital um, as, as, a, as a donation, basically. And all the revenue from Peter Pan, you know, a royalty went to the hospital. And if you go to Kingston Garden, one of the major statues 
in Kingston Garden is Peter Pan statue. So basically Peter Pan is the object in the dream that is relevant from the location of the serpentine and from the time of the Great Armand Hospital. Basically. So you have, a, you have a connection here that is, that is mixing time and space, basically, and location. Great. Yeah. So I am going to whisper you a code right now, Stealthy Moon. Or, okay. That should work. All right. Now, let's go with Peter Pan. Um, yeah, so was there a reason you wanted to do an ARG? Because I've seen like some of your other games and you do, they're all like, all part of like mystery and stuff. You just love mystery games. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they actually are part of the same universe. What, what you're playing right now is Black Watchman and, and, and Nero is the story of, of, of uh, the Rosenberg Clinic and their experiment on, on the occult and the dream world. Uh, if you play Black Watchman, you can also not go into the dream world and play the investigation part, which involves hacking website, you know, and contacting NPC by mail. And you can also play Night Team 4, which is more hacking game. So all our game uh, are part of the Black Watchman universe itself. And any row is really the most ethereal and dream investigation part of, of, of the Black Watchman universe. Oh, I see. Um, are there any other ARGs that you maybe you enjoyed playing and you were like, oh, I want to kind of make a game like that? Or do you just, I don't know, sure. do you just think well, about it? <laughs> no, no, no. We, uh, so we, made, we started with uh, Quadas in 2007, and then we made the Secret World ARG for Gate 33, and after that for the End of Days ARG, and recently for Kiss of the Re Revenant ARG. And right now we're doing uh, Waking Titan ARG, um, and uh, well, yeah, and we did also the Warhammer 40k ARG. Oh, so, wow. so we're only doing ARG. Our company is just doing ARGs. ARG games. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Um, yeah, the room was really good. I remember playing that. So let's yeah you can uh, the room the room yes it's a really, it's a really cool one uh, so the the puzzle you have one it's that's an easy puzzle actually uh, and I'm pretty sure that anyone in the forums you you may not even have to Google it uh, for this one um, but this this series of puzzle is is one of one of the series I love a lot um, so DDR Rossler Sherlock Holmes is is the right direction. <laughs> No, it's, no, it's not the answer. No, it's oh. not the answer. You really have to look at the riddle, and the riddle is important uh, here. Um, so, Sherlock Holmes is indeed in the universe oh. of it. I know, but it's not. <laughs> it's not the end. Oh, you know? Oh, cool. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, maybe not. I'm looking now. Oh, maybe I do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Watson was the narrator and not Sherlock Holmes himself. Uh, so Watson was the one narrating the, the puzzle itself. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Can't figure out puzzles. You gotta focus, D. Rossler. You gotta focus on this puzzle. Um. Yeah, I don't know if we actually missed it because I think we were having some call troubles, but what is the, I guess, backstory to this game? Uh, so the backstory is that, um, you know, small spoiler spore, alert, but uh, yeah, but uh, basically you're helping um, uh, the protagonist uh, have a have a resolution of her journey in her dream. And the more you push her in the dream world, uh, the more you will realize that her physical uh, world is, and, and her, in the physical world is getting, um, you know, uh, has to leave basically the physical world. Um, so it's, um, it's a part that is interesting, I think, the fact that you you have to, to explore to those three tables, help her find 
uh, spirit that are um, that were part of, of our history. Uh, mostly, we explore mental health. We we'll explore uh, woman history um, from 1800 to 1920, 1930, mm-hmm. uh, and this is really where everything is happening. Um, and and uh, without spoiling the game itself, uh, you will you will actually have to switch between these tables, which happened in in her dream, mm-hmm. and you will have to go hack, for example, the clinic, the psychiatric, uh, psychiatric, the hospital where she's being treated. And you will have to hack their website, get into her, her patient report, and, and better understand what's happening in the, in the real world with her life so she can progress in the dream world itself. Mm, okay. Okay, so, so far, pretty, like, so far pretty simple just because... I can see Google, like the first Google search is like pretty much right. Oh no, Andrew Lang maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, if, you ex- if you do explore Andrew Lang's, mm-hmm. but this one is interesting because when you get to Andrew Lang's, you have to search a little bit more deeper. You, you will not, it's not like Sherlock Holmes. You will have to better understand, look, look at the riddle again and look at the Andrew Lang's fairy book uh, itself, and and that should give you some hint toward what's the answer. That's what I got. Let's see. Green book is dragon, maybe. Ah, yeah. You are so smart, stealthy move. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. He's good. Okay, yeah. We're gonna try. Oh, I see. Wait, the green fairy book. Wait. Green book is dragon, maybe, because of the... Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you might well just try dragon. I don't know if that's even there, but let's try it. Um, yeah, you have an upcoming game, though, don't you? Yeah, we have a uh, 194, which is... This one is pure hacking. So it's based on Kali, Metasploit, um, Maltego CE. Uh, it's mostly you... We Basically, what we did is that we... Research, you know, hundred of 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 document uh, leak from the FSB, the NSA, Department of Defense, and we did research about all the tools they are actually using, and we created a hacking platform, a simulation hacking platform, uh, where you can explore uh, explore the world. Again, we do have alternate reality game component in it, but mm-hmm. it's um, it's a much more hardcore, you know hacking uh, universe in this one. Awesome. Um, and it'll be on Steam, I assume? All our game are on Steam. Black Watchman is on Steam, Any Row is on Steam, and Nighting 4 will be on Steam also. All on Steam, you guys. Um, okay. So, you're, you, are you stuck in this puzzle? <laughs> no, no, I got this. Don't, me and chat will figure this out. Um, <laughs> I thought it was dragon or something, because there is a dragon on the cover, but yes. I can't spell dragon. No. If you look at your puzzle again, your, your, your puzzle itself. Uh, so basically you have three pictures. Yes. And one of the pictures is a question mark with the green on it. So your, your assumption about investigating the green book is, is a good one. Now let's see if the blue book and the red book can help you out. So the blue book is about you know, ring and, and bronze ring. So is there anything that you can see related to Andrew Lang, you know, book that gives you something about the blue book and the bronze ring? Oh, okay. Time to check it. Uh, yeah, bronze ring. Bronze ring. And then the red one was 12. 12, pro- oh, 12 dancing princesses. Oh, so... Oh no! <laughs> Help me out, Jack. Um, You're okay. almost there. You got it. Hi, Silox13. Welcome to the stream. Um, we are currently playing an ARG, and it has lots of puzzles. And I am very bad at puzzles, apparently, as this game is telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's put this up for you guys so you can see it. Um, 
Yeah, okay. So uh, I guess when you're creating this kind of game, does it go through a lot of playtesting to see if it's like challenging enough, if it's way too easy? Um, how do you kind yes. of determine what puzzles are like right for this game? Well, basically, it's it's true a lot of uh, a lot of of, of uh, play tests with, with with the players. That's the only way, you know. So mm -hmm. for any row, for any row, we were in two months, about two months play test, where we tweak, you know, adjust the difficulty of the puzzle and whatnot. And for 1940, it's a little bit more bigger game, so it will be maybe a six month play test. Um, Black Watchman also was was six to nine month play test basically. Wow, yeah. So actually, you've gone to the final puzzle. Oh man, spoilers. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's pretty intense. In, in so general, intense. I will say that you can break, you can solve any rule in about I would say maybe fourteen hours, ten to ten to fifteen hours. Some people solve it in four hours, but our stats show that. You know, the average people will solve it in about, you know, five, five to ten hours. And um, the Black Watchman is much longer. People will solve it more in 50 hours, mm -hmm. uh, 40 to 50 hours for season one. And we got people who played, you know, more than 100 hours to just try to solve all the puzzle. Interesting. Uh, I can't think and talk. Ah! <laughs> So basically what you had is you managed to find that the the blue book is about the bronze ring, right? Yes. And you saw that the red book was about the 12, you know. That's um, Exactly. And these were the first story of each book. <gasps> blue bird. I knew it. No, I didn't. <laughs> 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 but, oh no, how do I cancel? Oh, okay, there we go. Um... I realize how like nerve-wracking this is to play on stream because if I come up with a bad answer, people are going to be like, Victoria, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. The IRD. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, thank you. Do you have any favorite puzzle games? Um, I. Funny enough, uh, Creating puzzle game and solving puzzle game is two different skill sets. <laughs> <laughs> and really, really different skill set. So it's... Um, uh, so yeah, um, it's, uh, I'm not really... Um, I'm ashamed to say that, but I'm not that good at solving puzzle. I'm really good at treating puzzle, actually. Interesting. Mm. So you're in the last part of this first piece of the table, mm -hmm. um, and you're looking to, at the end of the table, you will construct the world of a spirit that has lived specifically in that case in the 1900, mm -hmm. uh, an important woman uh, in history. And right now you're kind of construct, you're making, you building basically the universe of that woman, both in time, the era that she was living, um, the different, you know, topic, uh, important topic and transformation we had mm -hmm. during that period. So you are at the last part of one of these puzzle and you have this boat of immigrant. The first picture were the boat of immigrant. You have this little card, which was used by doctors on immigration, when they had immigration screening, and they were using this symbol to identify if anyone was denied access because he was too weak or he was about to die anyway. So they were putting these little letters. People didn't know what it was, but the doctor's code knew exactly that, you know, he will not be admit because because of different, you know, issue with the health of the person. So the, the riddle here is that to a certain few, the island symbolize only tears and heartbreak because many of these immigrants will come from, you know, far away and will, with a lot of hope of starting a new life. And they will be screened on different island or different area where they will simply die with, with and not being given access to these, you know, to, to, to the new land, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so we found that this, this was a really powerful moment in time 
And, and that spirit that you were investigating right now mm-hmm. live in that moment in time. So you're trying to solve specifically where was that location. Uh, and that's work also with the narrative because the narrative, um, Angel Island, that's pretty good. So yes, it's you're looking for an island. Angel Island is not the island. You're looking maybe for another island. If you listen to the narration, the narrative, the woman, I can't, maybe I don't know if you could put the narrative back. It's the little tape on the right. Just just play it once so we can listen to the narrative and that will give you a, a big clue. Ah, I see. Okay. So this pants in the narration. So fortunately, I needed that. But okay, let's do that. I was lost in a crowd. Thousands of people were a flutter around me. Many had congregated on the dock, looking off at something in the distance, speaking in languages I could not understand. As I joined them, I saw a huge bronze woman holding a torch. Suddenly, a green speck flashed across my vision. I had never seen anything like it. Okay. Well, that's the Statue of Liberty. Yes. Oh! Right on. Oh! Oh! Wait, that's a hint! <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go Google this. Um, <laughs> this is making me very excited. That. I'm very excited about this game. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny that you get excited with kind of like, you know, oh my god, that's that's the statue of Liberty or whatnot. You know, that's I mean, it's not everyone who liked that kind of puzzle, mm-hmm. but we obviously uh, are quite passionate about these. Um, yeah, I was wondering like why I guess you all decided to focus on ARGs and you didn't, as like game developers, decide oh let's just do like a puzzle platformer i know that's completely different but how did like how did you start off in game dev i suppose and then how did it kind of evolve to just making these like args well uh honestly since we started in 2007 and the only thing we've done is arg since then Uh, honestly the the only thing we know how to do you know is (laughs) Is ARG, <laughs> so we decided to simply, you know, we love ARG. That's that's our passion, and uh, that's that's what we're doing since you know ten years now. So uh, we're not good at doing anything anything else. We're really just good at ARG, basically. Well, we think we're good at ARG. Hopefully, the feedback we got from the players is that <laughs> they do they do enjoy the ARG we're creating. The the idea is that is the first time is is the first time we. The, the, the ARG is being sold on Steam, you know, and that was a big challenge to come from marketing ARG like we've done with The Secret World mm-hmm. and make an ARG that the people were ready to pay for, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, you got it. Good job. Ellis. So... So basically what you had all your clues was this medical di- diagnosis given mm-hmm. to immigrant. Um, the Ellis Island is known as the Heartbreak Island or the Island of Tears because mm-hmm. that's, like I said, that's where they will put immigrant. They will give them this symbol and this code and they will deny entrance to the new world, to the United States. So not only they risk their life, leaving all their family behind and they risk their life to travel, you know, to go to this new world. And they finally got there to be, you know, given, you know, you will not leave the island and you will die on this island, which obviously was harsh, harsh environment to live. So when you get, come with your kids or you come with your family, it's, it's really a heartbreaking story and it's really hard to read about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so basically you have it, you have... Adventure of Sherlock Holmes, and you have Elias Island, and you have the Green Fairy Book, and all of these happen mostly, you know, in the same moment, basically, and that's what you're investigating here. You're trying to find the, the connection between the three of them, and this connection is linked with your main spirit, because will Sherlock Holmes was being, you know, created, will... People were dying on the island, will, you know, the fairy book were being published, our main spirit that you're investigating, we're doing something at the same time. And all of these are invading the dream of our protagonist. And she's not really doing well because it's almost nightmare and obsession for her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she really lived the emotion of the, the emotion of people dying on the other side. And she she get these this mystery imagination 
vision from the green fairy book and all that it's all mesh up in her dream and that's what you're trying to help her you know to solve all these complex riddles so she can move forward in her dream mm, okay um, 1948 no. that's right nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kind of looking at the first google um, and, oh, okay, between, oh, yeah, that's definitely not it. Um, yeah, how did you actually get started in game development? Like, were you always, like, was your first job in games? What, did you, like, have a weird path to it? Uh, well, actually, I was, I was in marketing. I had a marketing mm. agency. And uh, at some point, we started to work for Funcom. And we had so much fun working in the gaming industry that we decided to sell our marketing agencies and start our gaming studio. Wow. So it was, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was it. No, no, I don't want to click that. Uh, e. No. Okay, is it 1893? Because if it is, well, I can't click it. Yeah, <laughs> if you go look at Sherlock Holmes' first edition or if you look at... Uh, when the Ellis Island where was actually, you know, um, uh, built. So if you look at when the Ellis Island was built, the immigration station specifically, if you look at the first edition of the Green Ferry book, and if you look at the year of publication of Sherlock Holmes mm -hmm. uh, by, um, uh, hold on, the... Uh, your publication, yeah. So immigration station, you will see that these all come back to the same date, yeah. Let me see. See, now my problem is I can't seem to click 93 or 92. 1892? 90? You cannot build uh, 1892? Not... Is there a 9 somewhere? 9. Oh! Haha. -ha. Never mind. That was... That was a lie. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess if you guys came from a marketing background, uh, what have you found to be like good like marketing? So if there's anyone who wanted to say like promote their game, um, how would you say? Oh, oh god. Okay, how would you say like the best? Not that there's a best way I feel to promote a game, but um, like what was the kind of this advice you would give someone? Um, honestly. The and I will be careful by saying that because I'm probably gonna have some people really angry at me. But uh, in general, I will say that buying media, you know, buying banner ads and stuff like that, is really bad. You know, it, it's it's when you when you're selling your indie title, you know, ten ten or twelve dollars on Steam, and you have to take into account the cut of Steam, and you have to take into account, uh, you know. The, the fees to transfer the money and whatnot, um, you realize that the conversion rate, you know, the cost per conversion is pretty high mm -hmm. um, uh, because advertising will give you maybe 70 cents per click. Uh, you will get sometime 25 cents per click, uh, but this will be mostly, you know, bad leads or a lot of noise. Um, so when you when you hit seventy five or one dollar per clicks, and you want to make maybe I don't know five dollars per title, it means that you have to have to hit twenty five percent conversion rate, which is huge, you know. So mm -hmm. banner ads quickly, sadly, uh, make you lose a lot of money as an indie studio. So you have to figure out other ways to do partnership to get visibilities, and there's some. Of course, streams like the one we're doing today and YouTubers and bloggers are really great, but it, it doesn't give you a critical mass. It doesn't give you a reach um, of, a, of, of, of a good you know, momentum to manage to reach enough, enough copy being sold. You know? So I will say that the one thing that saved us actually, and really made us, you know, in a good position, is that as soon as we started the game, uh, the beta of the Black Watchman, you had to join or, or you have to create an account, you have to have a profile, 
especially that in the Black Watchman, we're sending you puzzle by mail, mm -hmm. we, we, we're sending you puzzle by phone, we're calling you and whatnot. So you have to create yourself a profile, and it quickly, it quickly created a community uh, that was really active. We have a huge forum, uh, forums community, we have a good Discord community, and we're in touch with people. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew like that. And it grew, every time someone bought the game, or pre-ordered the game, or bought the beta, um, we we'd end up with close to forty thousand email account. You know, uh, people that we had the channel of communication with them, um, and we keep you know updating them about what's going on about the game, and we keep keep giving them you know uh, special access to our new game and whatnot. And, and I think this, as, as a studio, helped, helped us a lot because when we launched, we already have you know, you know, a lot of people to talk with to say we're, we're doing something new, we're growing mm -hmm. and whatnot, we have new feature. Um, if every time we had to go to rebuilding that momentum in that community for a new title, for example, uh, or having only Steam as our venue to advertise the game, I'm not sure we'll have made it as an indie studio. Right. Definitely. I definitely agree with the banner ads thing. It's, I've never really seen it be a great investment. Um, meanwhile, do you do also Kansas? I tried Kansas. Not, <laughs> it's not working. Um, so which, uh, I'm sorry, I missed which puzzle you are in? You're, you're on? Just this one. We are in the train one. And I did turn off the voice because you were talking, so maybe... There's a, mm -hmm. there's a hint. So there. hold on. The train one is. You'll see in a second. A long lost line. All right. That, that one is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to this. So, in, indeed, you have <laughs> Kansas to New Mexico. To New Mexico? Heck. Okay. <laughs> I, I looked up a. I looked up a map and I got Colorado. Wait, isn't it Colorado? Oh, wait. Unless... You have, you have, you have, you have uh, Kansas, Colorado, and, and if you investigate a little bit more. Mm. Um, Zay Long? What, what do you mean it got changed? Sorry, I don't understand the question. Um... Uh, the puzzle was changed because it was another puzzle before. Oh. We tweaked the puzzle. Zay Long has obviously played a new role at the beginning and we uh, uh, the same the scout and the deer yeah absolutely ah. but this one was not people didn't really like that puzzle and we had uh, we had to tweak it a little bit the long lost line is much more easier as a puzzle to find mm, I see maybe it's time to go back see long and see what they've changed though I don't know if they've changed that much oh uh, we, we did we did change a lot of, of, of the puzzle Okay. Yeah. Back to the internet. Um, oh, okay. Let's just close some of my tabs. Oh, okay. So the map is pointing to, if we look here, Colorado and Arizona. Unless the shaded ones don't mean anything. Okay. Um, now we got the Kansas Pacific Railway from that, but what does it Union Pacific? No, I can't do that. Hmm. Okay, wait. Let's listen to the narration. Looking outside, I saw that the sea of immigrants had given way to an ocean of amber wheat as the train surged forward. From beneath great piles of hay, the gravely voiced rumble. Welcome to America's Kansas. Not sure if there's another, but this is America's. Tentatively, I asked, Where does this train go, sir? He rose from the hay and revealed himself as a mighty and regal lion. Why, he said, only to the best damn resort town west of the Rockies. A resort town west of the Rockies. Resort town. What's the Rockies? <laughs> My terrible Google searching, really. Interstate 70? No, that doesn't sound right. Oh man. Okay. 
see. Chat, chat. If you help me out, I will give you a code. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, I need nice. so much help right now. I'm gonna go back to this so you can see it. Um, it's got a few bunch of codes to give away anyway. So, if someone wants to help me out with this. Um, so, if you look back at your map, all right, the U.S. state map. Mm -hmm. um, look at the two states that are yeah. highlighted. So you have Kansas, and which is the other state you have highlighted? No, it was uh, Arizona and Colorado, I believe. Uh, no. Look, look again. Look, look, look at the <gasps> shape I of the state. I am wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Ah, okay. Thanks, Elon, for the hint as well. Okay. I've been looking at the wrong one. I knew that. Kansas. And I think what? The voice switch about Kansas? I apparently wasn't listening as hard as I thought I was. <laughs> okay, so it's still Kansas Pacific Railway then. Which would explain why. So hold on. Yeah, but you again look look back at the State. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're this almost is... there. Just look okay. carefully at the state themselves. You have Kansas, which is mm -hmm. perfect. Now look at the other state. Arizona. Mm, look again. What? Are you serious? Is it New Mexico? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, New Mexico is touch Texas. Arizona touch California. Oh man, I shifted everything to the left, so I thought it was Arizona. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. You had you had one. Everything was right, just one state upset. <laughs> I don't I don't even know how I got. Anyways, today on Victoria embarrassing herself in front of the game dev, um, I got states wrong and can't read maps. Okay, let's try that one more time. Yes, Zilong. I also yeah, New Mexico. Orient Railway. Let's see if that helps. All right, so you're back on the. Um, back some. on the track. It's okay, DD Rossler. Apparently, you can't be as bad as me. Oh, and I. Did I spell it wrong? Or is it just not right? Where's so. E. It's wrong. Dang. Okay. Yeah. So you have a four-letter, four-letter word or four-letter actually. Oh, okay. And you're looking for a lost train line, a long lost train line that connected, that used to connect. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have. Oh my. God, you have it. <laughs> you, Oklahoma. Yeah. You, ha you go back to uh, your Google search. You. Almost had it. They're like, actually, oh my God, it's everywhere in your in your screen. <laughs> oh my God, it's... everyone. Okay. In the, oh no. In the okay, screen. I got this. I got this. Wait, wrong link. Oh no. Okay, is it this link? <laughs> I get. Okay, honestly, I love that this game is something you can play with chat, and because I think that's like honestly one of the best things about Twitch is that you can play a game with someone and not necessarily have them there. Uh, bad points being, if you massively screw up, everyone can see. <laughs> I am doing right yeah. now. <laughs> what, what is everyone talking about? Just the wrong link? Okay. No, don't tell me, you guys. I got this. What am I doing wrong? Actually, the, the answer is, right now, I don't know, you have a 10-second delay, but right now, the screen I'm seeing... The answer is right there. You're you you're, you're right there. So basically, just think, just ask yourself. You're looking for a train train uh, line that um, that was that was changed basically, uh, and it's it was four letter, um, and it's link. Kansas to New Mexico. So obviously the wiki page you are on right now is, is the right one. Yes. Is it KCMO? Let's try it. 
The delay between your vid and my text might mess you up a bit. That is true. Um, KC, please be right. <laughs> this is supposed to be more of an interview, and I have just gone, <gasps> oh, dang it. <laughs> oh I'm so distracted from my interview questions right now because I want to figure this out. We are not moving until we figure this out. Um, that's that's correct. So, <laughs> so I think you 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 you're right on, right? You are right on. You have KCMO now. What mm -hmm. happened to KCMO? Ah, uh, okay. Reading, because it's probably called. Orient. Wait, what? Okay, it was reorganized as the KCMO Railroad, another organization returned it to its original name called the Orient. I put mm -hmm. down the I put down Orient before. Well, that's no, that's not, not right. it. Okay. Um, what happened to KCMO? It was acquired. Yes. To, by uh, whom? Well, to uh, by actions and it's four letters <laughs> try tomato okay dd you're also you're not you're not helping yeah so if you click on the attention topica and santa fe railway the one who acquired them <gasps> atsf oh got it we got it chat atsf <laughs> oh man, I want more. I really want more streamers to play this. This is this is real fun. Um, thanks, thanks, Elon, for for the help too. Uh, okay, wow, that was one puzzle. I thought, I thought that was like the end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ooh. Wow. Time has passed. No, do you also? You you tried. I am also very bad. As you can tell from my lack of black eyes geography eyes knowledge. Because you still think it's fun? Yeah, I, I love solving puzzles. I think there's a lot of value in it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more last minute questions, we will probably wrap up the stream pretty soon. I don't want to take up too much of his time. Um, I love their beak and eyes. Yes, D.D. Rossley, you are. <laughs> Lies this colored prize. Spoilers. Um, I'm definitely gonna play this when I'm home or something. This is. Hey, this hope is you get it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. If you guys have any last minute questions, you can get Anaro on Steam. Uh, I don't know how much it is. We should actually look that up. Uh, I think I put it at uh, five dollars, if I recall. What? Five dollars, guys. Get on it. <laughs> Four ninety nine to be precise. Wow! 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 Uh, oops. Yeah, I do still have some Steam codes to give away, so I can just actually just throw them in chat for some lucky lurkers in there too. Um, let's see. Let me pull this up. I know it is super cheap. It's awesome. Let me just hopefully that will start. Play these in chat for you guys. Take those. Um, yeah, thank you so much for talking about your game. And they have one coming out soon. What is that one called again? Night uh, Night Team Forum. I'm gonna spell it in the forums. Yes. Yeah, so hold on. Can I put a link? No. I yeah. 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 Oh wait. Uh, okay. No, I don't think you can. Just type it out, and okay. I'll put the link in there. Night four. Nineteen uh, four. Oh, nineteen four. Oh, Ceylon. You're such a team. Oh, team. I protected team three. Okay, let's just. Yeah. Okay, here's the link. Go wait. Go wish listed. It comes out super soon. Ooh, September. What? Military hacking simulation game that explores the world of cyber warfare. Guys, this is so That's cool. a, a little <laughs> bit different from any room. It's kind of... 
a little bit different. Still now, any cool. role, any role is is you know Natalie, the owner of Alice and Smith, is art historian, mm -hmm. and uh, we always wanted to do a whole puzzle and story game about mental illness and the uh, uh, woman woman history from 1850 to 19, 1920, for example. And uh, hopefully people who play any room will, will, will have a great time exploring that universe because there's a lot to learn and it's a, it's a, it's a really interesting era. Great, yeah, no, I definitely see games as a really great way to kind of get those experiences across, especially because it is so interactive. Um, yeah. If you guys don't have anything else, we will be uh, ending the stream now. Thank you again for tuning in, and thank you, Andrea, for being here. Uh, you can follow them at twitter.com slash Allison Smith. Let's follow them. Why not? Make sure you follow them. Oops. Ignore that, Moobot. Um, here's the <laughs> Twitter account. Yeah, you can keep up with them there. Um, really, there's, it's been out for almost a year and there's still some unsolved stuff. Yeah, there's multiple there. Right now you're playing the table, but you can, after that, play the real world part of Enero. And within the real world, there's a lot of layers and there's hidden stuff that you can find. And as, as of today, there's still stuff that were not solved. That is so cool. We need to get on this chat. <laughs> <laughs> get on this okay great i am probably gonna obsessively play this at home um but yeah thank you again for tuning in follow them allison smith if you want to keep up with some kitbox stuff we are at twitter kitbox games and facebook kitbox games uh we have a game coming out soon uh in like three weeks so we're really busy and they have a game coming out it's great games everywhere. Yeah. Any anything you want to say, Andrea? Or are you good? No, thank you. Thank you for everything. I mean, thank you for the visibility for the game and uh, a big hello to the whole uh, the whole community. <laughs> of course. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>